All right, let's get today started with your strength two workout. So today we're gonna start with your dynamic warm up, followed by a stretch series and then go through three strength training circuits. You're gonna need either a set of resistance bands or a set of dumbbells and a platform where you can perform dips. So for today's workout, we have clutch body shop athlete and fitness model superstar, Amber Elizabeth Dodge White. Remember, for today's workout and every workout in the 24-7 Fitness Trainer, you can follow along in real time on your phone, tablet, computer, or television. All right, so we're gonna start today's workout with our dynamic warm-up. We're gonna start with jogging in place with each one of these exercises in the dynamic warm-up. You're gonna perform each one of them for 30 seconds apiece. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So Amber's gonna start with jogging in place. And again, with every single one of these warm-ups, you wanna really be at a level seven of 10 intensity. Not pushing yourself too hard, but by the end of this warm-up, you should definitely be sweating. Your body should be warm. About halfway through. Good. Coming up is jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right into jumping jacks. So Amber's taking a nice wide stance. A lot of times I see people doing jumping jacks or kind of shortcutting the movement. Make sure you're coming all the way up with your arms, all the way out with your legs. Also make sure with this warm up that you're keeping your core tight. We really want to get every muscle in the body fired up. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Switching over to butt kicks. This is an exercise to warm up the hamstrings. Go ahead and give them a twist so they can see what you're doing. So Amber's keeping her knee right underneath her hips and just bringing her heel right up to her butt. Making sure that the arms are moving. Keep your shoulders nice and loose. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Switching over to switch kick with arm circles. Okay, Amber's keeping her core tight. Her legs, her quads are straight. This is great to warm up your quads. Also, she's keeping her arms at a parallel angle to her shoulder, getting the shoulders nice and warmed up. How's your core feel? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switching over to walking high knees, your last exercise in the warm up. Great for the hip flexors. You want to make sure that the hip flexors are really, really warmed up before you perform any sort of workout. We spend so much time sitting down. It's important to get all this stuff moving again, everything nice and loose. Again, she's keeping her core tight through this exercise. She's not leaning forward as she's bringing her knees up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our stretch series before we start the workout. So we're gonna start with the seated floor hamstring stretch. And again, each one of these is gonna be performed for 30 seconds as well. Her legs are straight. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, it's okay. Just go as far as you can go comfortably and you can grab onto your calves. It is really important though that when you are stretching, you take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone. I see people at the gym kind of half-assing stretching and you're doing nothing if you're doing that. The idea is to really warm the muscle up. Okay, so now she's gonna come back and relax and give it about five seconds and she's gonna go right back into the next stretch. Performing stretches twice are, is really an advantage to the body because on the next stretch, you'll see that it's much easier. You can go much farther with the stretch than you could on the first one. So let's go ahead and go right back into it. And again, on the second round, you're gonna be performing the stretch for 30 seconds as well. Good, keep your head down. So your head should be down. You should feel this stretch all the way through the back. Okay, moving on to the next stretch, which is a quad stretch. You 
good. So for this stretch, you want to make sure that your knee is going straight to the ground. Pull back to where you're comfortable. If you have difficulty standing in place and doing this stretch, it's okay to use a wall or whatever's nearby to keep your balance. Four, three, two, one. She's gonna go right into the stretch one more time. So again, while you're going through these stretch exercises, you really wanna make sure that you're breathing. I like to tell people that it's really important to kind of get your mindset right for what's ahead. This is an opportunity to really focus on kind of what your goal is for the workout and what you're trying to get out of it. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch to the other leg. You know, sometimes when I'm at the gym, I see people while they're stretching, checking social media or posting or, or doing things like before they're getting ready to get into a workout. And that's not what you should be doing when you're in the gym. You really need to kind of tune everything from the outside world out and focus solely on what you're there to do. This is really an opportunity to get your head in the game. So use that opportunity wisely. Okay, 30 seconds, let it shake it out. Good, so she's shaking it out and she's gonna go right back up again. Good, make sure you keep your knee down. Good, so I'm really trying to get her knee to be parallel to this knee here because that's really what's going to drive the stretch. You know, if pe you see people doing a quad stretch and they're really not pulling the, the leg back far enough, that's not gonna do a whole lot for you. Good, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good, next stretch is gonna be the sumo squat. Let's get into it. Okay, good, so Amber is really putting, placing all of the weight on her heels here. This is to really open up the hips, stretch out the groin. People who do a lot of sitting at a computer or you do a lot of squatting or running, this is an area that sometimes gets drastically overlooked and this can lead to a lot of issues with the low back. So this is a really, really great stretch to do not just before you're working out, but throughout the day. Good, two, one. Come back up, shake it out. And she's gonna go right back down for the next set. How you feel? Okay. Okay, good, and again, while she's going through these exercises, she's breathing. Very important to breathe while you're stretching. Again, sometimes I see people, they're holding their breath while they're stretching. You're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. You need to pump oxygen into the body. Okay, three, two, one, back up. Okay, next up, we have a dynamic chest stretch. So with this exercise, Amber's gonna be going through a movement, just warming the chest up. You don't wanna be tearing through this exercise. You don't wanna be like feverishly swinging your arms because again, we're just warming up, but we don't wanna tear anything. We don't wanna injure anything. Her arms are staying nice and loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, so she's gonna just kind of shake out and move on to the next set of this. So each one of these exercises is, is designed to basically get your body ready for the cardio workout that you're about to do. Again, it's so important to go through dynamic warm-ups and stretching before you go into something that's high intensity, which all the Clutch Body Shop workouts are. So this is a great way to get the body prepared. Three, two, one, good. Shoulder across the chest. So Amber's gonna go ahead and lift up. She's applying pressure to the elbow with this hand and bringing the arm across the body. With this stretch, I'm really trying to get into the delt and the rear delt to stretch that out. Um, the other thing about this stretch that's important to note is if you feel a contraction or pain in your chest, that means that you really need to work on your chest flexibility. Sometimes when you bring the arm across the body, the chest has a tendency to contract if you're not working on your flexibility in that area enough. Okay, three, two, one, she's gonna let this arm down and bring it across again. 
good. So if you guys are doing this at home, again, make sure that you're breathing through the stretches, make sure that you're staying nice and loose. Don't contract the whole body, don't hold your breath. So often I see people going through these stretch exercises at the gym and they're literally red in the face as they're stretching. That's not the point of this. The point is to start pumping oxygen into your body and to prepare for the workout ahead. Okay, switch, good. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and start on the other side now. Good, and again, stretching also, unknown to most people, it also can help promote fat loss in the body because what studies have shown is that stretching, because it's a relaxation technique, it can help promote lowering of cortisol levels, which again can promote you know, better muscle definition, fat loss. It's not just something that is designed to stretch muscles out. Okay, two, one, shake it out. Okay, go ahead and bring it back across. I've seen that with people that spend at least a day stretching a week or add this at the beginning or the end of any workout, they're gonna see better results in their body just because of the fact that the cortisol is dropping and because you're lengthening the muscles out throughout the workout, you're gonna get your, your better power output. You have more leverage to make the movements happen because you're basically taking a muscle from here instead of here and then contracting. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, let's move on. Next up is a tricep stretch. So Amber's gonna go ahead and she's gonna bring that elbow up, her arm is back, and she's using this hand again to just press lightly on her elbow, bringing the arm down. So you will, you'll feel this in the tricep. A lot of you will also feel this coming down through your lat, which is another area that gets kind of overlooked with stretching, and it's very important to keep this area nice and lengthened out because the lat can actually because it attaches in the low back. If it's not lengthened out, it can really pull on that low back, which you don't want. Good, relax. Just gonna shake it out. Bring it right back up. Good. So for those of you who are doing this at home, this is a stretch that you really wanna make sure that that elbow is against your ear. You don't wanna have your elbow all the way out here trying to perform the stretch. It should be pressed right against your head and pulled down. Okay, good, three, two, one. Amber's gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. seconds left on this side. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, come back up. About 10 more seconds left. Coming up, we have the iliopsoas stretch. She's going back down on the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So Amber's gonna get into the iliopsoas stretch next. She's gonna be on one knee, and she's gonna put her foot slightly past 90 degrees. She's gonna flex her glutes, and then she's gonna sink into this stretch. Once you have your balance, you wanna bring your arm up and over your body and then come back. So you're leaning back. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help bring a great stretch into this area. Good, okay, relax. Good, she's gonna shake it out. And go right back into it. The iliopsoas is a hip flexor that runs right through the core of your body and attaches in your low back. If it gets too tight, it can cause a lot of back problems, tightness and spasm. So it's a great stretch to do at the beginning and end of any workout. If you're ever at your desk at work and you're feeling like a lot of tightness in your low back, this is your stretch. Good, so she wanted, wants to make sure that she's staying back. Good, three, two, one, good. So she's gonna switch to the other side. 
Now, if you find that you're doing this stretch and you're not feeling it right through this area, you really, let's get Amber into the position first. Put your hand up, okay. So if you're in this position and you're not feeling this stretch through here, it's really important that you start leaning back. So I want Amber to bring her body back. So you're leaning back and into the stretch. You'll also feel this through parts of your groin. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and stop. And she's gonna go through this one more time. Also, this is great for the quad as well. Okay, go ahead and get right back into it. And again, keeping the upper body totally straight. She's staying very tall while she's doing this. She's not leaning forward. So if you need to use a mirror while doing this, if you have one available to you, this is a great exercise to use a mirror for to make sure your body is in this perfect position. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So next, Amber's gonna move into a low back stretch. So she's just gonna lay on her back. And most of you have done this, have done a stretch like this. Okay, and she's just gonna bring one knee over her body. Good, and she's gonna rotate. Good, so this stretch is gonna go right through the low back, parts of the lat. And sometimes you'll even feel this in parts of your glute. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna come back over. And then come right back over. Good. And you can use this hand on this side if you want to get a better stretch to really use to press against your hip if you don't have, obviously, a partner helping you stretch. Um, that'll just help accentuate the stretch even further because sometimes using your own body weight, you can't get quite far enough. Got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So now Amber's gonna switch to the other side. Again, bringing that knee down to the ground and keeping everything very relaxed through the leg. And you can use that hand to press your hip further towards the floor to really get deeper into the stretch. This arm should be totally relaxed. You'll also feel a slight chest stretch with, with this exercise, which is great. Good. So we've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna shake it out and move right back across. Sometimes when I see people do this stretch, I'll see this arm start to lift up off the ground. That is, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna keep that arm nice and relaxed because again, through all these stretches, there's always secondary muscles that are also being stretched. So with this stretch, it's the, it's the chest, which is great, right? Because we use our chest a lot for push-ups for this routine, everything from that to overhead press. So it's very important that we keep that nice and stretched. Okay, three, two, one. Good, and stop. So Amber's gonna go ahead and move into a glute stretch next. She's just gonna sit up. And she's gonna cross one leg across the other, and she's gonna use this arm to pull her knee into her body, keeping this leg nice and straight. Good. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, good. So she's just gonna shake it out for a second and bring it right back up. Good. So again, she's breathing. She's keeping her upper body nice and tall. She's not leaning into the stretch. Ten seconds left. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. She's gonna shake that side out and she can move on to the next side. So again, pulling the knee across. If you don't feel this stretch enough when you pull the knee across, 
try and twist your leg more this way, that's gonna help really pull more glute into the stretch. Good. Just about 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's great, so Amber's shaking it out. She's bringing the leg right back across. Again, using that arm to bring her knee across. And you can see she's just shifted her body weight. So now she's kind of opening up that again, that'll help really open up the low back as well. So you can stay in that original position or if you're trying to get more of a low back stretch, you can also twist your body slightly. Good. So we've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So now we're gonna get right into the first circuit of the cardio workout, stretching is over. Go ahead, you'll, if you're using a mat, just go ahead and get it out of the way and get ready for the first circuit. So now we're gonna get into our first strength circuit. It only has three exercises, but for each exercise, you're gonna be performing as many reps as you can during the 30 seconds. We're gonna be starting with the overhead press. Okay, so go ahead and get your dumbbells. Okay, so right out of the gate, you wanna keep your intensity and your energy really high on these. So Amber's gonna get it started and go. Good, so you can see the cadence at which she's lifting the weights. This is the exact speed that you wanna be doing this exercise at. If you can't perform it with proper form, which is you should be bringing your elbows down to 90 degrees, your dumbbells should be parallel to the ground, lighten the weight. Good, about 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving right into dips. Now you can perform dips on any platform that you can find today. Amber's doing this on a medicine ball, but you can do this on the couch, off your bathtub, any kind of surface that has a platform that you can secure your arms to. Good. Just about halfway there. So Amber's coming down to 90 degrees, keeping her elbows tucked. Good, abs tight, legs straight out in front of her. Good, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great, moving right into bicep curls. Now you can do this with dumbbells, a barbell, or resistance bands. So she's keeping her elbows close to her sides, coming all the way up and all the way down. So bring those dumbbells all the way down, good. Not swinging the body, you wanna keep this part of your body completely still. Good. Again, the intensity level is high. She's getting as many reps in as she can in these 30 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, going right back to the beginning. Overhead press. Good, again, as many reps as she can in these 30 seconds, coming right down the 90 degrees. Her core is tight. Her legs are flexed. Knees have a slight bend. So again, you're gonna be feeling slightly fatigued. The pace is high. Keep pushing. Just do as many as you can do in those 30 seconds. Each week, it's gonna get better. You're gonna be able to get more in per round. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into dips. And we're just gonna move right over. And you can do different variations of dips. You can come down to 90 degrees, or you can do sh a shortened version where you're only coming down to 45 degrees. Good. Good, about halfway there. If you're doing these at home and this is your first week, if you need to do five, take five seconds break, five, take five seconds break, that's fine. Just do the best that you can do. The key is that you're pushing yourself to 100%. Four, three, two, one. Great. Okay. We'll be right back into your bicep curls. Amber's got her dumbbells. Make sure you're not swinging your body as your body begins to get fatigued. You have a tendency, people have a tendency to start doing this. If the, the weight is too heavy, just lighten the weight. The, the, the most important thing is, is that every one of these exercises is being done with proper form. Good, We've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Right into her overhead press. 
And again, at this point in this circuit, you will really want to make sure you're focusing on form, keeping your intensity up, but you don't want to start letting your elbows drop below 90 or letting the weights kind of <laughs> get in front or behind you, keeping your core nice and tight. Good, just about halfway there. Good, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Good, okay, right into your dips. By this point in time in the workout, your body's gonna be feeling a little bit fatigued, that's okay. The most important thing, just keep giving 100%. If you need to take more time in between exercises, that's fine. Just don't you know, rest too much. The idea is to keep the heart rate up, that's what's gonna burn calories and create drastic change. Good, more than halfway there. 10 seconds left. Amber's doing it like a boss. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, moving right into your bicep curls. Pick up your dumbbells, your resistance bands, whatever you're using to perform this exercise. And again, Amber's keeping her body nice and straight, keeping the pace up, pushing it. Make sure that your body is staying stable. Good, and let your head stay still. Good, keep the intensity up. Good, and 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, moving into our last round, right into an overhead press. Amber's killing it, keeping the pace the same as she was in round one. It's okay if you can't, especially if you're on weeks one and two. It's gonna take your body time to get acclimated and you should get tired by the ends of these rounds as you near the end of the circuit. Good, 10 seconds left. Keep the intensity up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, moving right into the dips. This is our last round, you guys. Make sure you're pushing it. Here we go, Amber's already well into it, keeping the intensity up. Perfect, keep those legs nice and straight. Keep your chin nice and neutral. Good, halfway there. Yep, if you need to readjust while you're doing this exercise, that's fine. Four, five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect time. Great job. Moving into our last exercise of this round and this circuit. Make sure you're keeping the intensity up and really pushing it. So you've got a rest coming up after this. Good. Make sure you're not swinging. Head neutral, halfway there. Good job, you guys. Keep pushing through. We're almost there, almost at the end. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. All right, so Amber's gonna take a 15 second break because she's a highly conditioned athlete, but if you need more time, go ahead and just pause this video. First exercise is a lateral raise. Amber's got one foot in front. That foot is supporting the resistance band. And let's begin. Good. Coming up just to shoulder height. Perfect. Keeping the intensity up. Great job. And make sure you guys at home choose a resistance band that is appropriate uh, weight for what you're about to do. Don't try and, <laughs> for the guys, don't overboard it and do something that's too heavy right out of the gate, because remember, we've got three or four rounds of this. Good, five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving right into the next exercise, we're going into an overhead tricep extension. Amber's moved her foot to the back, and the band is right underneath that back foot, and let's go. So again, we've got 30 seconds of this. She's got her elbows nice and tight to her head, keeping the intensity up. Core is tight, and that front foot she's using to stabilize. Good, we're just about halfway there. Good. When you're doing these at home, make sure that you're keeping your core tight. You can also, if you're doing these using a dumbbell, you can perform this exercise sitting down, which will give more support to your lumbar. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, moving right into our hammer curl. So Amber's moving that band right back out in front of her and she's grabbing right below the handle. Okay, and let's go. Keeping the elbows nice and tight to the body. 
Again, the intensity is high. You can see the cadence at which she's getting these reps done. The speed is up. Perfect. Keep pushing it. Remember, you want to do as many reps as you can do in these 30 seconds. Over halfway there. Keep your head up. Good. Make sure you guys, when you're doing all these exercises, your head should be in a completely neutral position. Five, four, head up. Three, two, and one. Time. Okay, great. So now we're gonna move in right back into our lateral raise. So Amber's adjusted her position. She's gonna come up. Now, something important to notice about this exercise is that Amber is letting her wrist drop. So when you're doing the lateral raise, you're actually gonna get a much better burn in your delt if your wrists are dropped down. A lot of times I see people trying to tense the wrist. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the wrist that should not be there. Okay, good. We're just about halfway there. Keeping the intensity up. 10 seconds. Good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving right into our next exercise, an overhead tricep extension. Again, Amber's got that band on the back foot. She's right into it. This, her forearms are coming down just down to 90 degrees. By now, your triceps are gonna be fatigued. That's okay, you guys. Just keep pushing, giving 100% to each one of these exercises. Good, keep those elbows nice and tight to the head, breathing through it. Good, 10 seconds. Good, just about five seconds left. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, you guys. Good job, Amber. All right, moving into our next exercise right away, our bicep hammer curls. Let's go. Good, again, try not to jerk. Try and keep your body nice and still. Head is upright. People have a tendency to want to look down when they do exercise. I always tell clients to stay very neutral with their head. That's going to take all the pressure off of your spine. Good, halfway there. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the body. Perfect, coming all the way up. And that's fine. If you need to take a slight pause in between, um, in between reps, that's completely fine. Just try and keep your intensity going and time. Good. All right, moving right back into your lateral raise. Amber's in position, perfect, keeping those wrists nice and dropped. Again, by this stage in the game, you're feeling slightly fatigued, that's okay, that's what you're supposed to feel. Change in the body doesn't happen until your body's taken outside of its comfort zone, which is exactly why each one of these workouts is hard. It's designed to be hard because I wanna get you the greatest results you can get in 28 days. I don't wanna wait eight to 12 weeks. Good, five, four, three, two and one, perfect. Moving right into the next exercise, perfect. Amber's got that band right behind her, and begin. Now, if on this last set, if you can't come down to 90 degrees, if your triceps are just toasted, that's okay even to come to 45. The key is to just keep the body moving. Good job, Amber. Yep. Even highly conditioned athletes, they have to go through workouts that are difficult. That's how we continue to get better. 10 seconds left, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, perfect, two, and one, time. Perfect, moving into the next exercise right away. Just got our cord in position. And again, you're seeing that Amber's fatigued and you at home should be fatigued as well because she's going 100%. If she was half-assing this, this would be super, super simple, but she's trying to take herself out of her comfort zone and you should be doing the exact same thing. Good, 15 seconds left. Perfect, keep your head up. Body still, try not to rock. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, time. All right, moving into the last round of this circuit. Here we go, Amber's in position. Let's go with our lateral raise, perfect. Again, remember on this last round, keep the intensity up, but don't let your um, form suffer because you're trying to go so fast. Make sure you're focusing on both intensity and form. Amber's got it down, perfect. Halfway there, don't rock the body. Don't use any momentum to move this weight. Even if on this last round you can only move the weight up to there, that's totally fine. Five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Moving on to our next exercise. Last one of the overhead tricep extension and go, perfect. Again, don't use any momentum from your body, keeping all of these, keeping both legs locked into place. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. 
Remember, do as many reps as you can do, and remember to keep pushing yourself through this last round. 10 seconds left, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, perfect. Last exercise, guys, move right into it. Here she goes, she's got her resistance bands ready. Let's move right into our hammer curl. Stand up straight, there we go, perfect. Nice and tall, keeping the intensity up. Amber's speed is, she's really got a fast turnover. You guys should be trying to match her speed. Perfect, halfway there. Remember guys, we wanna finish this circuit strong because you've got a rest coming up right after this exercise. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Amber's gonna take 15 seconds rest because she's a highly conditioned athlete, but for everybody at home, if you guys need to take more time, go ahead and pause the video. Let's go ahead and get her into position and start circuit number three. All right, here we go. The very first exercise is a front raise. Let's go, 30 seconds. So you can do this exercise either by alternating arms or bringing both arms up at the exact same time. For her purposes, we're gonna do alternating. Good, again, the intensity is up, her core is tight. Do not swing your body, do not use the momentum of your body to move the weight. We wanna stay very still. If you can't complete the movement without swinging your body, drop the weight down. Good, just about five seconds left, four, three, Two and one. All right, moving right into our next exercise, the Cobra. Amber's gonna go and get her mat, pull it into position. This is a great exercise to use as an alternative to a tricep press down with no equipment necessary. So Amber's got her body firmly on the ground. Her hands are parallel to her body and she's just gonna go ahead and press up, take a slight pause up top, come back up, pop. Good, it's really squeezing the tricep. The key is to keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. That's gonna put all the pressure right on the tricep. Good, just about halfway there. Good, don't turn this into a push-up, so really pause up top. Take a pause, now back down, good. 10 seconds left. When you're doing these at home, make sure you take that pause. You should really feel this burn in your tricep. All right, in three, two, one, good. Moving on to our next exercise, a narrow bicep curl. You can do this with using dumbbells or with resistance bands. So Amber's just gonna get her elbows tucked to her sides and coming up, perfect. Good, again, you don't wanna be moving your body, you don't wanna be using your momentum to move the weight. If you are doing that, you need to drop the weight down a little bit. Perfect, don't swing the neck, keep everything very still. You want to be able to do these exercises to where nothing else in your body is moving other than the weight. Perfect, just about 10 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, keep breathing. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, that ends the first round. Let's move right into our second round. We'll be right back into our front raise. You guys, you wanna get as many reps in in these 30 seconds as you possibly can, so really push yourself. We're right into our second round. Perfect. Again, don't swing the weight. If you need, Amber's going at a really fast pace, but if you need to pause at the top, squeeze and bring it back down, that's fine too. All right, and five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. All right, let's move right back into our Cobras. Amber is down on the ground, elbows are tucked, and let's go. Make sure, again, you're coming all the way up on those elbows. We wanna make sure you're getting a nice squeeze right in the tricep. At this point of this circuit, you're gonna be feeling fatigued. This is your last circuit of this workout. Keep your head in the game. Keep focused on what your goal is and exactly what you're trying to get out of this workout. Perfect, 10 seconds left, 10, nine, good. Good, five, four, three, two, and one, time. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So as you can see, guys, Amber's a highly conditioned athlete and she's winded, you should be winded too. You should be constantly pushing yourself through these workouts. All right, right into our narrow bicep curls. Let's go. Perfect. Again, keeping the body totally straight and still. Our elbows are tucked at the sides. You don't want to let your elbows come out to the sides this way. You wanna keep them nice and tucked. 
and even use your own body as leverage to bring the, the weight up so that you're not moving the rest of your body to complete the movement. Good, 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, time. Let's move right into the next round, front raise. And again, at this stage in the game, your body's gonna begin to be very fatigued. You wanna make sure you're really using your core, keeping your glutes tight. That's what's gonna stabilize the body so that you're really just isolating the muscle group that we're trying to work. And make sure that you breathe. Do not hold your breath. Good, halfway there. Good, just about 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Moving right back into our Cobra. And perfect, and begin. Perfect, so again, she's coming up, she's flexing the tricep, she's keeping those legs flat on the ground. By this stage in the game, you're gonna be fatigued. That's, that's to be expected. It's so important that you just keep pushing through, keep focusing on why you're doing this, what your motivation is, and you're so close to being done with this entire workout, by the way. Perfect, good, in five, Four, three, two, and one. Yes. All right, right back into our narrow bicep curls. Perfect, right away, right into it. Again, head in a neutral position, the body is straight. By this stage in the game, the biceps are burning. That's okay, that's exactly what they should be doing. Just do your best each one of these rounds, 100%. You're so close to being done with this workout. Good, halfway there. Perfect, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time, perfect. So now we're gonna move into our last round of this circuit. Right away, front raise. Amber, show us how it's done. Perfect, keep the body straight, keep the head neutral. Go at a speed that you can go where the whole body is completely still. You're just completely isolating that shoulder. Good. You don't want to be throwing the weights around. Good, 15 seconds left, we're halfway there. Keep pushing, good job, Amber. Perfect, you are almost done with this exercise. Yep, yep, five, four, three, two, one. Drop right back down to the ground into your Cobra. Perfect, hands are tucked. Amber is ready to go. I hope you're ready to go too, all the way up. Don't shortcut it, come all the way up. I wanna see that arm straighten out to the top. That's what's gonna give that tricep, that nice little zing. 10 seconds in, good, you're almost halfway there. Yep, there you go. Now, if you need to take a couple of seconds, perfect, take a breather and keep going. Like, remember guys, it's just as many as you can do within those 30 seconds. Each week, you're gonna get better within the 30 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Perfect, like a boss, into the last exercise of this round. Bicep curl, here we go. And she's up, perfect. The bicep curl is obviously a lot less taxing on the body than the Cobra. But still, you wanna stay focused, focus on the bicep, really trying to work it. We're trying to get that nice definition, We're trying to get stronger. You're in the last exercise of this entire workout. Keep pushing through. We've got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This workout is done. Good job at home, good job, Amber. Let's blow it up. 